What's up, ladies? How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jack Tripper coming at y'all live. Excuse me, I'm ashy. It's gonna be for my sister today. So y'all fellas can go ahead and lay back and chill for a minute, man. Talk to the little sisters who, who follow me, man. Seeing a lot of uh seeing a lot of a lot of videos y'all get punked out there by these white girls, man. I don't know what's going on, man. We was in, in high school, my uh my little sahibs, you know what I'm saying, my little home girls. They used to smash them girls' head in the ground, man. Like the worst butt whipping I ever seen in my life came from a female. Not from a not from a dude. Uh Caucasian versus a black girl. She was I guess y'all be getting little spats and stuff and like you know how one girl say something and the other girl say something else? Well, like, black girls didn't play that in my hood. It was like, you're you're the enemy. And like, like, into the concrete, like, crazy, right? But I'm seeing new videos every day on TikTok. Y'all getting punked. I said this in another video, but I need to reiterate. A lot of these ugly white women are leaning into you, entering your space on purpose. Y'all don't have to listen to me. Listen to the motherfuckers on the, excuse my language, on the animal kingdom. When it's a mock charge, it's it's basic one on one. They trying to punk you. You need to extend your arm towards their neck area. You don't got to do nothing with it. I didn't say you got to do nothing with it. I would hope. I would hope that you would do something with it. You, Hey, but you don't have to make me happy. Shit. Uh, <laughs> but in the interest of, of self-defense, seriously, stick your hand out towards that neck area. That works good with the Caucasian persuasion. Don't let these people in your physical space, man. Uh... When you let them in your physical space, here's the thing. When places get gentrified, you'll see one white person show up first, right? What happens after that? One white person, Captain Cook or whoever showed up to Hawaii, what happened after that? Oh, uh, freaking. One white person showed up to Africa, what happened after that? Man, you gotta keep keep these people keep these carrots out your out your space, man. It ain't worth it, man. And the least you can do is extend you flat palm towards their neck. It will stop them. If they grab your hand, you have your other fist balled up, ready to come right behind it. I swear, if y'all need some boxing classes or or tasers or anything. I will send you a taser. Just send me an address. I don't have to have your personal address. Send it to your homeboy or homegirl or uncle. I'll send you a taser. Just like shoot me $20 as a down payment and just pay me whenever you can. I'm tired of seeing black women getting punked like this on video. I even seen it for a, a white girl. White girls jumping on. You got ugly white girls jumping on halfway decent looking white girls. It's crazy out here. And they all look the same. And white, it's just white women, white women, white women just antagonizing and physically trying to uh, reproach everybody. I almost got into a one this morning. A couple of weeks ago, I'm crossing the street. The chick uh do like that when I'm walking across the street. But I really, I got the thing in my pocket, but... I'm really more concerned with uh, the traffic coming across the street. I go to the hotel. Tall white woman. She okay looking, but she with her man. Her man back is facing me. She give me the death stare like I did something to her. I'm literally walking to my room. In my room. White women have gone wild. This came from the, the rise of the 
gay and feminists that were attacking black men trying to make black women look weak and women look strong during those Black Lives Matter years combined with the Hollywood industry pushing female uh, uh, um, empowerment or whatever or if it's actually they're not pushing female empowerment if they want a female empowerment a rape kit one cost fifteen hundred dollars but they pushing female masculinity i watch movie recaps right every movie it's it's a hundred pound white woman just saving the world kicking butt da 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 for 20 years i asked myself this one question for 20 years i asked myself stanley why are these mother suckers keep recycling these uh, elderly masculine action heroes? Denzel, uh, 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 Sylvester Stallone, Terminator. For a while, it was none but those three and maybe somebody else. The Rock, he the most masculine guy out there. They put him in freaking Moana and... All kind of weird movies don't even make no sense. I kept asking myself, why they keep recycling these characters? So they numbed you to, they, they played a psychology game. They numbed you to the old way of thinking men should be masculine. And they come in with all these young 100 pound white girls like, oh, you can, you a 100 pound white girl and you 11 years old. You can save the world. Come on, man. Look, man, don't fall for it, man. I love y'all sisters. Uh, man, shh, God, even the white girls going through it, man. It's just Karen crazy out here. And I don't like the term Karen, but it, it'll suffice for now. But they trying to make it cute. They trying to make it like uh, black men and black women. We've been dealing with this Karen thing for 100 years. And now... Once they seen men was weak, so what they did was they sick their husbands on us first. And they see ninjas didn't respond, they're like, oh, I can get them too. I can get them too. Black women, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I've been small my whole life. When I got out of high school, I was 5'6", 120 pounds. When I got out the Army, I was 5'6", 150 I ain't never been no big dude, but I've been fighting big dudes my whole life. My specialty is getting a mother sucker off me, man. That's my specialty in life. God made me the runt of the litter, and my specialty is getting somebody up off me. But the th here's the thing about me. I always start below the pack. No matter what job I'm in, what I'm doing, I start at the bottom, and... I work my way to the top. I become an expert everywhere I go. That's no, that's not high capping or nothing. What I'm saying is, if y'all really want some self technique tip, self help technique tips, self help weapons, you need to shoulder the crowd. You need to, um, you need to me to analyze a, a chick body, whatever. With women, it's all about weight. It's all about weight. But I can show you how to use their weight against them. You ain't got to go to the Karate Man class. You ain't got to go to the Karate Man class. I'm the Karate Man over here, see? I will show you how to get a mother sucker off you, man. And I will show you how to make them forget that 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 they was the they was the <laughs> they, they was the head honcho, man. I will make them forget that with haste, man. I will show you the keys to the kingdom and the signs of the universe that the holy spirits have left up upon me, man. So I, if y'all need some help, man, first you extend that palm. Then you reach back and you pull out whatever you got in your pocket and you lay into that mother like it ain't no tomorrow. You just a beautiful woman trying to enjoy your day in the sunshine. Don't let them play you. Wish y'all the best. Pray for peace. Prepare for war.